All right, good morning, guys. It is uh, not too long after sun up. The sun hasn't gotten above the mountain yet, which is prime time because, you know, zombies are slow in the morning. So I don't drink coffee anymore, I don't think. But I just found something very curious. I was down here checking. You can see the river through there. So fish will be moving up soon, checking out fishing spots. And I noticed the other day I had a moose bedded down right here on the other side of this supposed blowdown. And you look at these tracks, and I'm just assuming it was a moose. I mean, it looked like a moose. What I've heard. I watched some documentaries last night, uh, Zombieland 1 and Zombieland 2, and uh, zombies disguise themselves as anything and everything. That could have been a zombie in a moose suit. I don't know, but you don't have moose tags up here, so I can't shoot him unless, he's, unless he shows zombie-like behavior, um, which he kind of did yesterday. He stood up and he stared at me. I was about this close to him. Well, maybe a little bit further away. And he just stared at me and then turned around and walked away. <laughs> Who does that, right? I'm serious. And then I thought, well, maybe this is just a trap. So I got to keep my head on a swivel. I got nobody here to watch my back. <sighs> Look at that. You see those crossed sticks right there? Ha, ah, that's a... Well, that's a, that's a Bigfoot sign right there. I'm going to do a interview tonight. I got a guy up here on the mountain. I know he looks just like me and sounds just like me, but, um, and I won't reveal his name or his face. Uh, he wants to remain anonymous, but I've got a, a Bigfoot story about up here. I'm going to interview the guy tonight and we'll get to the bottom of that. But, you know, I can't deal with zombies and Bigfoot at the same time. What if Bigfoot became a zombie? Oh, 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 game on. Talk to you later.